गाइज वेलकम बैक अगेन इन द पावर लर्निंग वीडियो सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग पावर लर्निंग चैनल सो टूडे इस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट जेनरेटर अंडर वोल्टेज अलार्म अंडर वोल्टेज शट डाउन अंडर वोल्टेज प्री अलार्म एंड अंडर वोल्टेज वार्निंग ऑल दीज आर रिलेटेड टू वोल्टेज सो आई होप यू विल लाइक दिस वीडियो सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो काइंडली लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल so you will get always the notification for the new videos and we will learn together so let's get started so my dear friends in generator we have more protections for our generator because generator is a machine which is working stand alone there is a no operator there is no operator always standing or operating the generator once you will turn on the generator it's working and it will be shut down on its own protection system there is no requirement of a person that will always engage with the generator or always stay with beside the generator to see the parameters or the other things in generators uh, generators are different than machines in machines we have always operator who is operating the machine but in generator once we start the generator it is working stand alone and there is no one uh, taking care of the parameters or what is happening with the generator so for this reason we are using digital smart controller and in this controllers we have protection levels so this protection levels we are set as per our nominal settings so in today's video i will explain you about the generator under voltage alarm and over voltage alarm so the what is generator under voltage alarm as you know generator is a machine which is producing electrical energy which is producing electrical volt so once the generator is operating stand alone okay so in case of any reason due to high load impact or short circuit or any other failures okay due to any reason if your generator and is stopped and you will see the alarm is indicating that generator shut down under voltage or maybe in another scenario you will see on the screen while checking during the routine checking you will see that engine is showing under voltage warning so what is the difference between under voltage warning and under voltage shut down so the warning is pre alarm what warning is a pre alarm for example if our nominal voltage is 380 okay and so what is the um, readings we will set what is the parameters we will set for under voltage and what is the parameter will set for over voltage so the simplest formula is that the standard one for example if you have 380 voltage as a nominal of your generator you will set 10% above for the 380 volts for over voltage protection and 10% less than nominal voltage for under voltage protection for example if we have 380 volts so what is the 10% it is around 38 per uh, 38 volt so we will add in 380 38 volt and we will less 38 volt from the mm, 380 volts so these two are our uh, over voltage and under voltage shut down settings but in between but in between for example if 5% voltage is going down from the uh, for example from our nominal settings from the Uh, nominal setting is 380 volt and we are getting that 5% voltage is uh, generator is showing less so at this position at this condition uh, our generator our generator will sense the warning and it will start giving us warning so in this case if we are uh, if the, we have the monitoring system in our control room we will see that why the generator is having under voltage warning we will immediately Uh, take that action to see what is the reason behind it and we will solve it in another case in case if generator is working and there is no one beside the generator and generator stop on under voltage protection so in this case we have several things to check 
सो वॉट आर द थिंग्स टू चेक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज यू नो वी आर सेंसिंग फ्रॉम जनरेटर अल्टरनेटर आवर कंट्रोलर इज सेंसिंग थ्री फेज प्लस न्यूट्रल इन थ्री फेज कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड इन सिंगल फेज वी आर सेंसिंग ओनली वन फेज एंड न्यूट्रल ओके सो इन एनी केस इफ द न्यूट्रल इज मिसिंग आवर जनरेटर विल स्टॉप और इफ द फेस इज मिसिंग आवर जनरेटर इज स्टॉप सो द वायरिंग इज वेरी सिंपल वी विल टुक थ्री वायर्स रेड येलो ब्लू एंड ब्लैक फ्रॉम आवर अल्टरनेटर फ्रॉम आवर अल्टरनेटर डायरेक्टली टू टूवर्ड्स आवर कंट्रोलर एंड इन बिटवीन वी आर यूजिंग द ब्रेकर्स द कंट्रोल सर्किट ब्रेकर नॉर्मली वी आर यूजिंग फ्रॉम सिक्स टू टेन एम्प सिंगल पोल ओके फॉर ईच लाइन एंड न्यूट्रल इज कनेक्टेड डायरेक्टली सो इन दिस वे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेन एवर यू हैव अंडर वोल्टेज अलार्म यू हैव टू चेक the fuses or the breakers the single pole breakers which we installed inside the our control panel okay so how if in case of any short circuit the breaker will trip itself or if not trip then we have to search then we have to see the wiring we have to check end to end point for example from alternator to controller we have to check the wo- wire continuity the wire continuity is okay if the wire continuity is okay after that we have to turn off the generator load breaker okay and we start the engine and check if the voltage is okay or not okay what is the voltage readings we are getting on our uh, generator screen so in this way if you run your generator on Uh, manual mode or uh, on manual mode without load and if the voltage is okay so in this case you will know that there is something wrong with your load side if your your load having something which started or uh, which having short circuit or there is a overload so due to this you get the under voltage alarm there is a sudden increase in load there is a sudden increase in a torque load okay applied on the generator so in this way you get the uh under voltage alarm what what is the uh, sim causes for over voltage over voltage for example if your generator is working on a same load at 380 volt and suddenly suddenly you reduce the uh, 50% or 80% volt so s- sometime as per our experience we see that the voltage rise immediately and there is a shoot in the voltage graph okay so in this case if you don't have any delay for over voltage settings so your generator will be stop on over voltage okay so you must have to check all these settings before starting your generator you must know what is the setting so as i explain you 10% more and 10% less is our settings for the shutdown you can further increase and also you have to set your transient response in your controller for example if sometime you have if you know your application you have some big motors or uh, such loads which is impacting the voltage up and low which uh, which is uh, suddenly giving you a voltage dip or sudden rise in the voltage Uh, in this case you have to you have to set your transient voltage settings okay if you will set your transient voltage settings like 3 seconds 5 settings 5 uh, seconds so in this once the load is apply or once the load is removed suddenly from the generator okay so this transient response time will not shut down your generator so these are the common things which we are facing a normally in daily life for with our generators so if you have any comment or question related to this kindly comment below and if you are watching this video on youtube so please make sure you subscribe my channel so in future we are making more videos about it and please let me know how you find this video because we all are learning and uh, also i want you to comment below that which topic of video you want to see in coming days okay so inshallah i will prepare new videos for you and uh, your support is highly appreciated always kindly like share and subscribe the videos so in this way i will be get motivated from your support and i will keep making uh, sir, this kinds of informative videos so if you have any questions or any queries please comment below in the comment section and just hit the subscribe button thanks for watching i hope to thanks for watching and have a nice day assalamu alaikum